Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be doing a bit of an unboxing. What's in the box? I don't know. You guys probably do because you've seen the title, but I don't know yet because the box is still closed. But it's got these straps on there, and you know what these straps mean. It's heavy, and it's got to be good, and I've probably shaken the table. So let's go ahead, get this thing out of the box, and see what the heck it is. Okay, welcome back. And as you can see, it's an Arbor Press, and it is a mighty hefty Arbor Press at that. So, what I want to do in this video is uh, I've done the unboxing, here's everything. I'm going to talk about the pieces. However, I'm also going to talk about what is an Arbor Press for those that don't know what an Arbor Press is. And then, number two, I'm going to talk about this particular Arbor Press because one of the reasons I'm doing this video is when I was looking for an Arbor Press, I saw this one and there wasn't a lot of details. I searched YouTube, didn't come up with anything, and I had some questions about it that. I couldn't get answered. So I went ahead and bought it anyway, and so I'm going to answer those questions for you. So if you're in the market for an Arbor Press, then you want to watch this video. And I'll have a link to this one down below and some other ones like it. Now, when I started this endeavor out, I was looking at some of the Harbor Freight Arbor Presses and other ones like it. There, there's a number of Central Machinery uh, Arbor Presses rebranded out there, and they were running anywhere from about $49 to $65. Now, I picked this one up. This one was about $91. This is a little bit more expensive. And, and the reason I sprung the extra money is this is a lot heavier build than the uh, Harbor Freighter Central Machinery build. So I'll put a picture of it up in the corner, the one I'm speaking of. And, and the, the size of this is kind of hard to express, but the, the, the size and weight and everything else, this is a, a much heavier press for the money. Now, will the other one work? Probably. Um, I've never had one. I've had Arbor Presses in the past, uh, but when I went shopping for this one, I liked a couple things. Number one, again, I mentioned the sturdiness, uh, because of the one thing, the throat here is just utterly massive. It's, it's you know, like about six, maybe eight inches thick uh, here. Heavy duty. I like the handle here uh, to be able to pick it up. Now, the other thing that I really like is this wheel. Uh, because one of the things I do want to note is there's a keyway on here, and if you notice when I was unboxing it, I had a little tough time getting the tape out. Watch it, it's there to protect this keyway. But sort of long story short, this wheel goes on here, and this allows you to work the arbor. Now, the idea behind an arbor press is basically you have this geared arbor, and I think it's about a 20 to 1 ratio. And kind of a long story short, you convert the lever through the gear, you know, the leverage of the handle as a lever through the gear ratio of this to the arbor, which generates, according to this, about a ton of pressure. Now, the thing is, you can actually go up a little bit. Now, I think this rod is about 16 millimeter diameter rod. Um, pretty heavy duty rod. Now what I've seen other folks do is get longer rods uh, and, and insert them to get more torque or you can just put a pipe on the end because uh, obviously the longer the lever the more torque you have. But one of the pieces I liked about this is the fact it had this wheel and kind of long story short this kind of screws in here and allows you to spin the wheel. Now you might say, Mr. DIY3DTech.com, why do I want this? I got the handle on the other side. Well, what I liked about this is this allows you to quickly run down the arbor um, and get it centered before you actually put the pressure because the idea behind this isn't, you know, you get a whole lot of velocity like in the, the pneumatic press I have and then you strike the object. The idea is to come down and put uniform pressure through the gearing and the lever to press it. So you want to run this down on your part and then press the part down uh, is how this works. And so this is a real quick way to do it because this gets kind of cumbersome, kind of ratcheting it back and forth to get this down from the top real quick. The other nice piece I like about it is it has an arbor stop, an adjustable arbor stop. So this clamps onto the top of the arbor, and this allows you to set depth on it to, uh, so it only goes so far down before it stops. And so you can get repeatability out of your presses. So if you're pressing something, now it comes with some uh, three different ends, uh, basically a square, a round, and a pointed end. Um, really not sure how that works in, in the whole scope of things because the, the arbor is just flat so 
you know, maybe you just put it on there and it's supposed to press it. I don't know. But it comes with some extra Allen wrenches, a bolt, which actually goes in the other side of the rod, which gets pressed in there. And uh, that's how it works. Now, also it has this platen down here, which comes off. Um, and it's got three, you know, it's got four different size, you know, openings for different pressing. It's got, you know, obligatory machine oil from China on it. Um, you know, so you can change that out. Now, what I plan on doing is actually, I plan on doing is changing this out and actually having several die receivers for projects. Because that's what I got. And, and I'll talk about the projects in the, the future that I bought this for. Um, you know, but this is good for general use. And I may have this as a receiver or create my own. I haven't decided yet how that works. And again, I'll, I'll show you some of that as I go forward. Because one of the things, I'm going to build dies for both this and the pneumatic press. Uh, you know, basically fixtures probably more so is accurate to call them and, and, and drop them in here for what I'm going to press. Now, um, again, I've got the wheel on here. And this this bad boy, as you can see, is heavy. As you can see, is heavy, and you can see the size of the throat that we have here. So I want to spin this back a little bit, and um, I want to tighten this on. Okay, so now that I got this tightened on here, one of the things I want to show you is how this nut's going to vibrate the table a lot. Sorry about that, but you can see how quickly that this will actually spin it around versus the handle. Now, this is a one-to-one -one ratio with the handle, so that's one of the things I did not know when I bought it and was kind of, you know, wondering, was there a different gear reduction over here? I had doubted it, uh, but there is not a gear reduction. This is a one-to-one -one ratio. And so, again, the idea is to run this up and down and get it aligned into your piece, and then um, you stick this through here, and then you have to put the other end on. Now, Bob's your uncle. Now, see when you spin this, so you can spin this with this handle, or you can spin it down with this handle over here. So, I kind of like that, and for the few extra bucks, I thought between getting the heavier unit and the wheel was worth it. Um, and again, this piece goes in the side here to kind of lock the handle into the different positions, because if you're going to spin it, you want it to be in the center, and if you want to lever it, you want it at the end. And again, there's nothing at the bottom here to retain one of these pins. So it just would have to go against there. So I'm not really sure the logic. Uh, but anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you're looking for an Arbor Press, I highly recommend this one. Uh, very robust, very heavy duty. So I'm impressed with it. I'll have links to this down below. And if you've got any questions, Hit me up in the comments, and don't forget to hit the bell over there. Wait, actually, you got to go down and hit the bell. I put out regular content, swag shops in the corner, and we'll see you guys in the next video where we press something. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our